Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes for yet another Takumi of Queer. This time it's Rutger the Lone Swordsman. Um, I know in the past I've used a really nice layout to show my unit's builds and stuff, but to actually put that in a video is actually very hard. Because you have to figure out when you make the template for the picture, you have to figure out how much space the screen or the video itself takes up, and then have that space be white space or transparent space, and then have that remaining video fill in that space. But also on top of that, the editing program that I used to do so just did not like it, and it took it quite a long time to finally render the video when I finally did do it. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to show off their skills like this. I might eventually go back to that if I can figure out an easier way to do that. But for the time being, we're just going to do it this way. So for regular Takumi, we have his Fujinumi Refined, Glimmer, Swift Sparrow, Works. I flipped him to drive attack because Summer Takumi needs some extra attack. But otherwise, it's good to go. Fallen Takumi has pretty much a standard build. He needs Astra to uh, kill a horseback arch. I actually don't think he needs it, but it works out. So. Dagger Takumi's running a little bit of a different build. Fallen Takumi needs some more attack, so for attacks, but he has. And then. Life and death to increase his damage and speed, but in defense to ensure a kill against Rutger. Sorry. And, yeah. I could have given him threatened defense 3, but he didn't need it, so that's why he doesn't have it. And then, last but not least, threat. Ah, I don't know why I said threaten life and death. Life and death to increase his attack and speed. This actually does make a difference. Um, Savage Blow to get some chip damage. Not sure if it's needed, but actually I'm pretty sure it is. At all point, I don't know what it is. But yeah. And then Darting Blow to increase squads. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Honestly, I thought this queer was impossible before, but it's really not. It's actually pretty doable. It just takes looking at it the right way. So, those two. Him and then we'll get started. So, we're first gonna reposition. So much to give me. I'm in Ranger the Drives. Have him kill the Wits. Fighter. We're gonna move these two up this way. Let's go swimming. Have Summer Takumi killed the sword fighter. I find that hilarious that it still took two more arrows. Let's go. Then we're gonna kill this brave axe. Right. <sighs> None of my Takumis could take a hit from that, but. Alright. So we'll just bring right. these two back. Fallen Takumi to kill him, but it doesn't matter much. And we just one shot the green cat. It'd be really helpful if I could get that damage on Rutger. It would have made the a little bit simpler. Then, oh well. Yes. 
so we'll just reposition them out of the way. I'll do it. I want to come back here. Already and keep them out of range of stuff and to prepare for what's coming. Dagger Chikumi will finish off that bow fighter, leaving just the reinforcements and the mage. You'll never hit this target! So let's go swimming! Use summer chikumi to finish off the axe fighter. Normal to be kill the Lance Cavalier. I, don't, I honestly didn't think you'd be able to kill one of these things, but you can't. Thanks to drive attack. Actually, I don't even think you need fall into the make and wipe with this one. Die, die, die! These reinforcements are why I thought the map was actually pretty hard. But... Alright. It's, it's really a pretty manageable map. If Lance Cavalier. This is why life and death is needed. Die. And then fall into the meat. Let me ask. <laughs> and we need to threaten defense to ensure that we would have enough damage to work your hands and packs with. Let's and go. we do. More than enough. Oh, that's it. But if we didn't have to threaten defense, we wouldn't have done enough at all. But that's the clear. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and I hope.